Hi, welcome to all to the session on the topic group wear. Group wear is one of the important subtopic under human computer interaction. It's better to go through this slide which tells us what we are supposed to learn in this particular session. Initially, what is group where we need to know, where and all it can be effective, followed by the most important three types of group where computer mediated communication, meeting and decision support systems, shared applications and artifacts. All these three types of groupware have their own applications and advantages. Depending upon the need, the designer or the user is supposed to cleverly choose one particular type of group where among these three. This will be followed by the various available models of group where and like many other systems group where also will have its own issues when implemented in a real-time scenario. So those implementation issues also will be discussed here. So what is group fair? Group fair is not just a tool for communication. We need to understand that basically. It is actually a software which is very specially designed for supporting a teamwork or a group of people working together not necessarily they need to be in a single place or more importantly they need not work at the same time which means simultaneously Also, groupware expects the people involved need to be cooperative at least at their mind level. So, a team which naturally works with a collaborative or cooperative requirements effectively uses this groupware technology. Uh, the third point makes us clearly understand by classifying group where as when and where the participants are working. That matters a lot because we, it, it, is, it is implied that nowadays a particular team comprising of say n number of participants is subdivided into smaller teams and one sub team sits in a particular office of a particular city, the, the, the another sub team in a different place in that same city which means in a different office setup and uh, sometimes one more sub team keeps working in a different country. The, the ultimate aim of these entire sub teams is to carry out the work in a cooperative manner. So this group where is expected to support all this. Uh, as told in the previous slide, any implementation uh, will have its own uh, limitations or issues. Okay, That also has to be taken into consideration.
the matrix which is shown in the right bottom corner called as time space matrix nicely makes us understand what we have been briefly talking about in the first two slides so you find the four legends there with respect to place same place and different place with respect to time same time and different time so when we try to classify group pair we need to understand that at what time the participants are working whether at the same time or they work in different timings like many companies have two shifts nowadays or the same team split into two different teams one sitting in uh, say for example india and another working in us have absolutely different uh, uh, times based on the regions they work so that is that first point and second one is physically where the participants are working whether they are located in the same office or different office maybe in the same country or different country so these two are the fundamental parameters to be discussed okay so when you little bit get in depth for the time space matrix with respect to time we have to talk about synchronized time as well as unsynchronized time so which means whether the team members work at the same time or not similarly when we take the place parameter whether it is co located or remote which means whether the team members are working in the same place or in different places to talk about more about to talk about more on time space matrix and to make us correctly understand one example each for the four combinations are provided here face to face convocation two people sitting nearby physically and talking with each other definitely falls the first category which is same time and same place whereas two people talking over a mobile phone or a landline phone falls in the second category which means at the same time but they are located in different places the third one where a particular message is conveyed to two different people who are working in two different shifts of the same company fall under the third category which means they are they will be reading that particular a uh, message at different times but obviously they are working in the same office which means same place the fourth category which is a typical letter postal letter it is at a different time as well as in a different place okay so these four applications would definitely make us understand the importance and the meaning of the combinations various four combinations of time space matrix so as a continuation a small representative diagram is given here which includes two set of participants and on which tools they work or which tools they use to work so the character p represents participants whereas character a represents artifacts of work which means which otherwise means the tools the participants make use for 
their um, design so uh, it clear uh, also between the participants there can be direct communication or there can be an understanding that when i do this the the other participants are expected to do this and vice versa whereas between the participants and the artifacts there is possibility that they have a control and there should be a feedback mechanism of what the tool or how the tool behaves when participants do a particular activity so there are many possibilities of interactions how a tool supports in this scenario what we have been talking now so with reference to direct communication we can definitely take test or we can call it as computer mediated communication where the participants keep communicating between them with the use of a system this understanding is a meeting can be convened between the two set of participants either mutually or by an uh, higher official so that based on discussions between the set of participants a common understanding can be arrived which will ultimately help to take a better decision the third one shared applications and artifacts talks about the various control mechanisms and feedback mechanisms with the shared work objects which means the different participants will be working upon different subdivided tasks of the project or the assigned activity so in their shared sub domains what kind of controls they have and what kind of feedback they get so computer mediated communication is a interesting vast area a brief intro is given here the emails which we use daily the sms which we um, effectively use in mobile uh, phones any text messaging technology various virtual environments all fall under computer mediated communication any any one kind of the listed tools are normally used to between participants of two teams whereas moving to meeting and decision support systems they can be asynchronously collocated various discussions or for that matter arguments to arrive for better decision can be recorded using argumentation tools meeting rooms help us for a synchronized collocated scenario face to face meetings are another example of meeting rooms whereas for shared working work surface or drawing surface a shared drawing board is used for exchange of points between two teams similarly a brief idea about shared applications and artifacts is given here okay the 
meeting rooms and uh, decision support systems which are used between teams definitely definitely develop a shared understanding between the participants whereas the shared application and artifacts actually allow the teams to work on the same objects there's a there's a big difference between these two the technology might look similar but the the actual outcome or the purpose is completely different between the about to when we want to slightly get more into this shared applications artifacts we can talk about shared windows shared editors shared diaries co-authoring systems in which these shared windows and editors are basically synchronous whereas co-authoring systems and shared diaries are generally asynchronous more on the models as well as implementations and its issues of groupware will be discussed in the next session thank you